Okay, so welcome back to part two, where I will show you how to deploy a static website to your Azure Blob and CDN. So very quickly, I have my code here. I have it under static site. I have two of them, and I have already committed them to my source control. That means that when I flip over to my Azure DevOps site, I should have them available and ready to go. So let's go set up our build now. I'm going to swing over to the browser. I'm going to dev.azure.com slash whatever your project name is. I'm going to go to the build and I'm going to create a new pipeline. Sorry, new pipeline. And I'm going to use the classic editor because I prefer using the graphical tool as opposed to remembering the YAML. And if you're more comfortable with the YAML, then that could be a separate tutorial. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start off with the empty job here. And it's just going to give you a basic one. And what we have to do is configure some of the the um, setup stuff here. So I'm going to give it a name that's more meaningful. So static dash site. And I'm going to leave the agent pipe uh, agent pool the same. And I'm going to change the agent specified to the Ubuntu one. This is just because of the way my other builds are set up. But because we're just zipping um, the HTML files, it shouldn't matter too much. And before we actually add the build steps, we're going to go to triggers and we're going to set up our continuous integration. So we're going to do enable continuous integration. You're going to choose your branch. Mine is just going to be master because I don't really have any other ones right now. And then we're going to choose a path filter. And the path filter is going to be the directory that all of your delta changes are going to be detecting from. So for example, in my site, uh, static site, if I add another file that would trigger the change detection, if I updated React app, it wouldn't trigger any of the change detection. So go back here, and that's all you'll have to do for now. Um, let's go to task, and I'm going to add two tasks. The first task is going to be a thing to zip. So we're going to archive our files, use this one. And we want to set the root directory to be our static site. And the reason why you want to zip things is as your project grows and you want to kind of create more complicated builds, it would be best practice to kind of have them all zipped in one thing and then transfer it over to the wire for your release. Um, as they're more small little files, like smaller JS files, smaller CSS files, smaller uh, HTML files that you have, the longer it's going to be to just transfer each one at a time. So zipping them and just bundling them over is way faster. So once you have that zipped, um, it's going to go to a staging directory and it's going to name it the build number. So as you run each time, it's going to iterate the number. So one, two, three, depending on how many builds you have. So that's where your static site zip is going to locate it. Um, and once it's in the staging environment, what we have to do is we have to publish them so that the um, release management system can actually pick them up. So we're gonna search for publish and we're gonna do publish build artifacts. And we're just going to take everything in that directory. You could specify the build number, but since we know that there's only going to be one, it's pretty safe to assume that we're just going to just have that in there. So we're going to click Save. All right, and then now we're going to go configure our release. Let's go over to Releases. And I'm going to click New, New Release Pipeline. Um, we're going to choose kind of like an empty one again empty job and we're going to configure it from scratch so we're going to click into our oh, actually let's go add our artifact first before we do that so if you've set up your build correctly you should now see it here so click static site ci click add and once again i'm going to configure the continuous deployment now so click enabled and you can do the same thing where you can have a branch filter i'm just going to leave it as is so close that and now let's go click this to configure our task itself so this is going to be production since i don't really have a staging or anything it's just going to go straight to production and here we're going to add three steps the first step we're going to add is a unzipping step because from the previous one we zipped our file so now we have to unzip it and we're going to search unzip what i did was i already downloaded and added this um, extension by peter so what you'll have to do is you'll have to click this, install it, and then you'll come back to here and you'll have it available for you to add. We're gonna add and then go in here and now we're going to configure the path itself. 
So if you remember from the build, we have our specific path going to our staging, and then the publish will put it in a drop and then the build number. So we have all of that available again. So I'm just going to copy and paste it into here. I'm going to just paste that into here and just quickly explain. Um, so this is a directory that we downloaded the artifacts from and it will put it into static site CI. You can notice that there's like a naming pattern and then drop. So this is kind of the standard pattern and then the file name, which is build.buildid. This is from earlier as well, from when we set up the build. So don't worry about like copying this down. I'll put it in the description below just so you guys have it. And then the place we want to unzip it to is going to be, we're going to just take the beginning of this and we're just going to call that unzip. And that's all we have to do. So we just have to now add our next step. So this will unzip. And what we want to do beforehand is we're going to actually clean up our blob stores. Because imagine if you constantly publish, 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 and you have a bunch of files I no longer need, you want to first kind of clear the files before you actually start copying everything over. So let's go to Azure CLI. So there's no real good tool to do it. You just have to kind of use this to, to kind of just delete everything. So this is the easy copy kind of tool. So uh, if you haven't authorized your subscription already, just make sure you go through the process, click this, subs um, authorize it. You have to probably sign in. I'm just going to click this and you can see that this is already configured and authorized. And we're going to just go inline script. And I will once again, just find it, copy it and just explain the differences. So I'm going to paste it here. So AZ storage blob delete batch. And all you have to do is specify the account name. And this is the name that you gave your storage account. And this is going to be the same for you guys. Uh, dollar sign web is the one that we kind of had by default when we created the static site and that's all you'll have to do here so the next step we'll have to do is actually now publish the files over uh, before we actually publish the files let me actually just rename this uh, static site newest deployment okay um, so now let's add our azure blob copying so azure blob and we're going to find this one all right, and the source is going to be the path that we unzipped everything to. Um, let's find that. And remember earlier, we added the unzip. So let's add that here too. And one of the extra gotchas is that we have to include the path that we actually originally zipped. So one of these things that you're just going to have to know about. Oops, let me uh, that site. And you'll also see in the logs too, if you ever do run into that mistake. Um, so let's go here, add this. Our destination type is going to be Azure Blob, of course. And the storage account is going to be Billy Tech Static. And the container name is dollar sign web. And you want to verify this. So the storage account and the container name should match your Azure CLI um, account name and source. I'm also going to just give this a different name. So Azure um blob clean just to make it more distinct okay and that should be it um except for earlier i mentioned there was three steps but there should actually be four so i'm gonna do this i'm gonna go azure cli and one of the things is that when you deploy to the blob the cdn will actually also need to be purged as well because it would ca try to cache it unless your caching rules are a little bit different and then it won't so let's continue and actually Cache or clear our cache now. I'm going to name this so Azure uh, CDN Ash Purge. All right. I'm going to once again choose the same thing, switch to inline, and I will just go ahead and copy paste so that you guys don't have to see me just type it out. So this is the Azure CLI command. So at AZ CDN endpoint. And we want to purge. So this is the resource group. You'll find that on your configurations. Um, this is the endpoint name, and this is the profile name. Because I named them the same, it'll kind of look like the same. And these are the paths you'll want to purge. Unfortunately, I think currently Akamai doesn't support wildcards. 
So you might want to use the Microsoft one or any of the other ones provided because if you do this, it actually won't purge it. So you might actually have to directly go index.html and everything like that. But hopefully they will fix that and you know address this wildcard issue because it's incredibly inconvenient to have to know all your routes to purge them all. But anyways, so this should be good now to configure. Um, we're going to save this. And I'm going to go back and basically run the build and we're going to see the changes get deployed. So start the build. This Q and run. OK, so we will continue after the build is done. So you can see now that the build has been completed. Um, you can see it archiving static site. Um, so we're going to zip that basically. And then we can see that we're actually going to publish and we're going to include that drop file. So that's very important to kind of just read through the log so you can kind of have a little bit more understanding rather than just expecting the slash drop to occur. Well, let's go take a look at the release and see if the release is done. I'm going to just click into this and we're going to pause here and wait till it's done. So it looks like the build is done. You can see that the first thing we do is download that artifact with that drop folder and we start to unzip it. We find the path, we find the build number, and we dump everything into the unzip file. Unfortunate thing is that it doesn't actually show you the content that's unzipped. I think if you go diagnostic mode, it might be able to show you and you'll see that what is dropped in here is a static dash site and then the index HTML and the about HTML. But uh, next step is we do the clean. We do the file copy and then we purge the actual CDN cache. So that is all good. So let's check out our site here. Give it a cache refresh um, and then just navigate about the site. Make sure nothing is broken. Okay, so that was just a very quick tutorial on how to set up a CI CD pipeline for your static site. I hope you guys found that useful and made your development much smoother. As always, make sure you like this video, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you guys next time.